Ice Hogs forward Antti Sorella and Antti, uh, first year playing over here in, uh, professionally in North America. How's this season been for you so far and, and what's it been like playing over here? Uh, it's been uh, quite like up and down. Uh, it first was like a little harder to adjust here, but uh, lately it's been going better and better and uh, feeling, feeling fine, fine on the ice. What's been the biggest adjustment, do you think, so far to coming over here and, and playing on a, a smaller ice surface? Uh, I think it's like the like situations come a little bit faster. Uh, it's it's not like uh, skating isn't like that much faster. It's like easy for me, but uh, like little puck battles and stuff like they are they are like much faster than back home. I think we were kind of talking earlier and you mentioned how when you go into a corner here, you know, playing with the Ice Hogs, guys are just kind of on you quicker because everything is more condensed over here. So does that mean you have to rely on your instincts a little bit more over here and, and maybe you can't see things as, as easily as you could over, over in, in, uh, in Europe? Uh, obviously that too, but uh, I think uh, like here you can like skate away, wave with the puck like that easily than back home because there's more rooms in the corner so you gotta be like it's almost every time like you gotta make a hit or you gotta take a hit so back home you can just almost almost always skate away so uh, it's it's different it's a lot different so you were here for a development camp I believe it was right with the Blackhawks earlier this year what was that experience like being out there with you know guys like Connor Bedard but also you know Ethan Del Mastro and Nolan Allen and guys that are here with you uh, uh, with the Ice Hogs right now uh, it was good to get to know everyone and uh, this year it was a little bit different that we were not on the ice so uh, it was uh, like a little bit easier for me to come for just a week for uh, like uh, more hang out and do like work out the day so uh, didn't have to like uh, uh, force myself so much physically so it, it was kind of nice experience and we did a lot of sightseeing and stuff so it was it was a nice nice week in Chicago. What's it been like adjusting to living here in the Midwest? I know you were uh, you know like you were saying got doing some sightseeing in Chicago but here you are in Rockford a couple hours away and uh, I'm sure it's a little bit different than Finland but but what uh, what's been the biggest adjustment just kind of living in, in that sphere? Uh, well I feel like um, it's like you you kind of have to have a car here like it's yeah. it's like everything is so so far away so uh, it, that's like the biggest thing and uh, I don't know Are you a good driver yeah <laughs> yeah uh, I think also like uh, like uh, it's it's nice nice like nice little town uh, like but only downside is like everything is far away so uh, you gotta have to drive a while so, to get somewhere what about like the food and things like that? I think that's a big difference that people don't always realize. What's the, what's the biggest thing that you notice when you walk into an American grocery store? Uh, well, it's yeah, it's a big difference. Uh, you like the way I'm used to eating back home. You gotta you have to kind of look look around a little bit more here to find similar type of stuff, but. Uh, I kind of realized like it's almost impossible to eat the same way back than <laughs> here than back home. So, kind of just figuring out new new meals to eat and stuff. So it's it's been quite interesting. Obviously, you come from uh, a hockey family. Your brother previously played over here with the Ice Hogs a little bit. He's playing professionally in, in Switzerland right now. Uh, your father coached you back in the day. Has have your has your family been able to, uh, been able to give you any feedback so far this year? Have they kind of chatted with you about how your game's been going? Uh, well. Obviously, my brother played uh, in here in uh, AHL and a couple games in NHL, so he knows a lot about stuff, and uh, we've talked a lot, talk a lot like during the season, and uh, uh, and yeah, like I've I've gotten good feedback from them, and uh, yeah, it's it's easy to have someone like who who has done it already, so it's it makes it a little bit easier for me. And then, uh, you know, in and out of the lineup, you know, especially during the first few months of the season, you've been playing a little bit more as, a, as of late. Have you started to kind of pick up a little bit more confidence as this season has, has gone on? Uh, yes and no. Uh, like, I'm more confident in corners now and, uh, like, getting into battles, but still, like, um, finding my, uh, like, scoring pace is, like, not so good at the moment. So that's... That's where I need to get a little bit more confidence. 
What's been, you think, the thing that you've been working on the most with your game this year? Uh, more like the corner stuff and like getting more more engaged in those uh, uh, corner battles and winning those and uh, try, trying to build from there. And uh, I feel like they've got to like get a long way now. So uh, uh, just need to keep that going and the score and stuff will come from there. The number 26, does that come from anywhere? Have you always worn that or was that just something they gave you when you got here? Uh, it just came well, like when I got here, uh, I'm, I was uh, 13 back home when I was a kid and uh, then 25 when I started playing uh, in men's league back home. So uh, I, I think this was the closest one that was available. So it's, it's, it's nice. All right. Thank you for the time, Monty. We look forward to seeing you the rest of the year. Thank you.